Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome once again to the daily Bible reading for August 22nd. And today we're going to be covering chapters 36 through 39 on the book of Jeremiah, or in the book of Jeremiah, I should say. And I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And if he's not your Lord and Savior yet, well, today is the day to call upon him to save your soul and met your sinner, and we're all sinners. We all come short of God's glory, and that's why we need a Savior, amen? And that Savior is Jesus Christ, amen. All right, so today we're going to be reading chapters 36 through 39. So if you have your uh, King James Bible handy, you can turn along with me to chapter 36, and verse 1 says, And it came to pass in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that this word came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Take thee a roll of a book, and write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel, and against Judah, and against all the nations, from the day I spake unto thee from the days of Josiah, even unto this day. It may be that the house of Judah will... Uh, will hear all the evil which I propose to do unto them, that they may return every man from his evil way, that I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Amen. And so that is uh, chapter verse 4. And it says, Then Jeremiah called uh, Baruch the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord, which he had spoken unto him upon a roll of a book. And Jeremiah commanded Baruch, saying, I am shut up. I cannot go into the house of the Lord. Therefore go thou and read in the roll which thou hast written from my mouth the words of the Lord in the ears of the people in the Lord's house upon the fasting day. And also thou shalt read them in the ears of all Judah that come out of their cities. It may be they will present their supplication before the Lord, and will return every one from his evil way. For great is the anger and fury that the Lord hath pronounced against this people. And Baruch the son of Neriah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him, reading in the book the words of the Lord in the Lord's house. And it came to pass in the, in the fifth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, in the ninth month, that they proclaimed a fast before the Lord to all the people in Jerusalem, and to all the people that came from the cities of Judah unto Jerusalem. Then read Baruch, in the book, the words of Jeremiah in the house of the Lord, in the chamber of uh, Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, the scribe, in the higher court at the entry of the new gate of the Lord's house, in the ears of all the people. Uh, when Mishia, the son of uh, Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, had heard out of the book all the words of the Lord, then he went down into the king's house, into the scribe's chamber, and lo, all the princes sat there, and uh, El Elish Elishema, the scribe, and Deliah, uh, Deliah the son of uh, Shemia, and El Nathan, the son of Ekbar, uh, the son, and and uh, Gemariah, the son of Shaphan, and Zedekiah, the son of Hananiah and all the princes. Then uh, Mishia declared unto them all the words that he had heard when Baruch read the book in the ears of the people. Therefore all the princes sent Jehudai, the son of Nethanin, the son of Sh uh, Sh uh, Shel Shelmiah, the son of Cushai, unto Baruch, saying, Take in thine hand the roll wherein 
thou hast read in the ears of the people, and come. So Baruch the son of Neriah took the roll in his hand, and came unto them. And they said unto him, Sit down now, and read it in our ears. So Baruch read it in, the, in their ears. Now it came to pass, when they had heard all the words, they were afraid, both one and another, and said unto Baruch, We will surely tell the king of all these words. And they asked Baruch, saying, Tell us now, how didst thou write all these words of his mouth, or at his mouth? Then Baruch answered them, and he pronounced all these words unto me uh, with my mouth, and I wrote them with ink in the book. Then said the princes unto Baruch, Go, hide thee, thou and Jeremiah, and let no man know where ye be. And they went in to the king, into the court, but they laid up the roll in the chamber of El Elish 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 Elishma, uh, the scribe, and told all the words in the ear of the king. So the king sent Jehudai to fetch the roll, and he took it out of Elish uh, Shema, the scribe's chamber, and Jehudai read it in the ears of the king, and in the ears of all the princes which stood beside the king. Now the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, and there was a fire on the hearth burning before him. And it came to pass that when Jehudai had read three or four leaves, he cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth, until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. Yet they were not afraid, nor rent their garments, neither the king nor any of his servants that heard all these words. Nevertheless, El Nathan and Deliah the, and Gemariah had made intercession to the king that he would not burn the roll, but he would not hear them. But the king commanded uh, Jer Jeremel, the son of Hemelech, and Sariah, the son of Azrael, and Sh uh, Shel Shelemah, the son of Abdel, to take Baruch, the scribe, and Jeremiah, the prophet. But the Lord hid them. Yes, the Lord hid them. Then the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, after that the king had burned the roll, and the words which Baruch wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah, saying, Take these uh, take thee again another roll, and write in it all the former words that were in the first roll, which Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, had burned. So see, there's no originals left, because uh, they've uh, all been burned up. <laughs> but the Lord knows and remembers what he has said, and has Jeremiah, uh, or actually Baruch, write them down again. Amen. So... God does remember what he says, and it's right here in this in this book, amen? So if you say, well, uh, what about the originals? Well, the originals have been destroyed and rewritten, and the Lord has told a man what to write what he has said, amen? All right, so again, he says, and thou uh, shall say uh, to Jehoiakim, all right, so let me go back here. So he says in verse 28, take thee again another roll. So God tells him to take another roll and write it, write in it all the former words that were in the first roll, which Jehoiakim, the king of Judah, hath burned. And thou shalt say to Jehoiakim, king of Judah, thus saith the Lord, thou hast burned this roll, saying, why hast thou written therein, saying, the king of Babylon shall certainly come and destroy this land, and shall cause to cease from thence man and man and beast. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, he shall have none to sit upon the throne of David, and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat, and in the night to the frost. And I will punish him and his seed and his servants for their iniquity, and I will bring upon them and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, 
and upon the men of Judah all the evil that I have pronounced against them, but they hearkened not. Then took Jeremiah another roll, and gave it to Baruch, the scribe, the son of Neriah, who wrote therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim, king of Judah, had burned in the fire, and there were added besides, un, besides unto them many like words. Chapter 37 And King Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, reigned instead of Coniah, the son of Jehoiakim, whom Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, made king in the land of Judah. But neither he nor his uh, servants nor the people of the land did hearken unto the words of the Lord, which he spake by the prophet Jeremiah. And uh, Zedekiah the king sent Je Jehuchal, the son of Sh uh, Shel Shelmiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Me Measa, the priest, to the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Pray now unto the Lord our God for us. Now Jeremiah came in and went out among the people, for they had not put him into prison. Then Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt, and when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them, they departed from Jerusalem. Then came the word of the Lord unto the prophet Jeremiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Thus shall ye say to the king of Judah, that sent you unto me to inquire of me, Behold, the Pharaoh's, Pharaoh's army, which is come forth to help you, shall return to Egypt into their own hand, uh, in their, into their own land, and the Chaldeans shall come again and fight against this city, and take it and burn it with fire. Thus saith the Lord, Deceive not yourselves, saying, The Chaldeans shall surely depart from us, for they shall not depart. For thou, uh, for though ye had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans that fight against you, and there remained but wounded men among them, yet should they rise up every man in his tent, and burn this city with fire. And it came to pass that when the army of the Chaldeans was broken up from Jerusalem for fear of Pharaoh's army, then Jeremiah went forth out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin to separate himself thence in the midst of the people. And when he was in the gate of Benjamin, a captain of the ward was there, whose name was uh, Urijah, the son of uh, Sh Shelmiah, the son of Hananiah, and he took Jeremiah the prophet, saying, Thou uh, fallest away to the Chaldeans. Then said Jeremiah, It is false. I fall not away to the Chaldeans. But he hearkened not to him. So Urijah took Jeremiah and brought him to the princes. Wherefore the princes were wroth with Jeremiah and smote him, and put him in prison in the house of uh, Jonathan the scribe, for they, had made, uh, for they had made that the prison. When Jeremiah was in, entered into the dungeon and into the cabins, and Jeremiah had remained there many days, then, then Zedekiah the king sent and took him out, and the king asked him secretly in his house, and said, Is there any word from the Lord? And Jeremiah said, There is, for, uh, for said he, Thou shalt be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto king Zedekiah, What have I offended against thee, or against thy servants, or against this people, that ye have put me in prison? Where are now your prophets, which prophesied unto you, saying, The king of Babylon shall not come un against you, nor against your land? Therefore, hear now, I pray, thee, O Lord, O my Lord the King, let my supplication, I pray thee, be accepted before thee, that thou cause me not to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe, lest I die there. Then Zedekiah the king commanded that they should commit Jeremiah into the court of the prison, and that they should give him da uh, daily a piece of bread out of the baker's street until all the bread in the city uh, were spent. 
Thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Chapter 38 Then she she Shephatiah, the son of Matan, and Gedaliah, the son of Peshur, and Jukal, the son of uh, Shelmiah, and uh, Passer, the son of Melchiah, heard the words that Jeremiah had spoken unto all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, He that remaineth in this city shall die by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. But he that goeth forth to the Chaldeans shall live, for he shall have his life for a prey, and shall live. Thus saith the Lord, This city shall surely be given into the hand of the king of Babylon's army, which shall take it. Therefore the princes said unto the king, We beseech thee, let this man be put to death, for thus he weakeneth the hands of the men of war that remain in this city, and the hands of all the people, in speaking such words unto them. For this man seeketh not the welfare of this people, but the hurt. Then Zedekiah the king said, Behold, he is in your hand, for the king is not he that can do anything against you. Then took they Jeremiah and cast him into the dungeon of Melchiah, the son of Hamalek, that was in the court of the prison. And they let down Jeremiah with cords. And in the dungeon there was no water but mire. So Jeremiah sunk in the mire. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. Now when uh, Ebed, uh, Ebed Melech, the Ethiopian, one of the eunuchs which was in the king's house, heard that they had put Jeremiah in the dungeon, the king then sitting in the gate of Benjamin at uh, Ebek Melech went forth out of the king's house, and spake to the king, saying, My lord the king, these men have done evil in all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet, whom they have cast into the dungeon, and he is like to die for hunger in the place where he is, for there is no more bread in the city. Then the king commanded uh, Ebed Melech the Ethiopian, saying, Take from hence thirty men with thee, and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the dungeon before he die. So Ebed Melech took the men with him, and went into the house of the king under the treasury, and took thence old ca uh, cast cloths and old rotten rags, and let them down by cords into the dungeon to Jeremiah. And Ebed Melech the Ethiopian said unto Jeremiah, Put now these old cast cloths and uh, rotten rags under thine armholes, under the cords. And Jeremiah did so. So they drew up Jeremiah with cords, and took him up out of the dungeon. And Jeremiah remained in the court of the prison. Then Zedekiah the king sent, and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry that is in the house of the Lord. And the king said unto Jeremiah, I will ask thee a thing, hide nothing from me. Then Jeremiah said unto Zedekiah, If I declare it unto thee, wilt thou not surely put me to death? And if I give thee counsel, wilt thou not hearken unto me? So Zedekiah the king swore secretly unto Jeremiah, saying, As the Lord liveth that made us this soul, I will not put thee to death. Neither will I give thee into the hand of these men that seek thy life. Then said Jeremiah unto Zedekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, If thou wilt assuredly go forth unto the king of Babylon's princes, then thy soul shall live, and, oh, excuse me, and this city shall not be burned with fire, and thou shalt live and thine house. But if thou wilt not go forth to the king of Babylon's princes, then shall this city be given into the hand of the Chaldeans, and they shall burn it with fire, and thou shalt not escape out of their hand. And Zedekiah the king said unto Jeremiah, I am afraid of the Jews that are fallen to the Chaldeans, lest they deliver me into their hand, and they mock me. But Jeremiah said, They shall not deliver thee. Obey, I beseech thee, the voice of the Lord, 
which I speak unto thee, so it shall be well unto thee, and thy soul shall live. But if thou refuse to go forth, this is the word that the Lord hath shewed me. And behold, all the women that are left in the king of Judah's house shall be brought forth to the king of Babylon's princes. And those women shall say, Thy friends have set thee on, and have prevailed against thee. Thy feet are sunk in the mire, and they are turned away back. So they shall bring out all the, thy wives and thy children to the Chaldeans, and thou shalt not escape out of their hand, but shall be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon, and thou shalt cause this city to be burned with fire. Then said Zedekiah unto Jeremiah, Let no man know of these words, and thou shalt not die. But if the princes hear that I have talked with thee, and they come unto me and say unto thee, Declare unto us now what thou hast said unto the king. Hide it not from us, and we will not put thee to death. Also what the king uh, said unto thee. Then thou shalt say unto them, I presented my supplication before the king, that he would not cause me to return to uh, Jonathan's house to die there. Then came all the princes unto Jeremiah and asked him, and he told them according to all these words that the king had commanded. So they left off speaking with him, for the matter was not perceived. So Jeremiah abode in the court of the prison until the day that uh, Jerusalem was taken, and he was there when Jerusalem was taken. Chapter 39, make sure that that's, uh, yep, all right, chapter 39, in verse 1 says, In the ninth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the tenth month, came Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army against Jerusalem, and they besieged it. And in the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, the city was broken up, and all the princes of the king of Babylon came in, and sat in the middle gate, even uh, near near Gal uh, Sharizer, Sa Sam uh, Garnibo, uh, Sar Sarsicum, uh, Rab uh, uh, Saras, near near Gal uh, Sharizer, uh, Ram uh, Rab Rabmag, with all the residue of the princes of the king of Babylon. And it came to pass that when Zedekiah, the king of Judah, saw them and all the men of war, then they fled and went forth out of the city by night, by the way of the king's garden, by the gate betwixt the two walls, and he went out the way of the plain. But the Chaldeans' army pursued after them and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and when they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, to Rib Riblah, in the land of Hamath, where he gave judgment upon him. Then the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah in Riblah before his eyes. Also the king of Babylon slew all the nobles of Judah. Moreover, he put out Zedekiah's eyes and bound him with chains to carry him to Babylon. And the Chaldeans burned the king's house and the houses of the people with fire, and break down the walls of Jerusalem. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the, king, uh, the captain of the guard, carried away captive into Babylon the remnant of the people that remained in the city, and those that fell away, that fell to him with the rest of the people that remained. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left of the poor of the people, which had nothing in the land of Judah, and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Now Nebuchadrezzar, king of Babylon, gave charge concerning Jer Jeremiah to ne Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him and look well to him, and do him no harm, but do unto him even as he shall say unto thee. So Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, sent, and Nebusheshban, uh, Rabsaras, and 
uh, Nirgal, uh, Sharizer, uh, Rabmag, and all the kings of Babylon's of Babylon's princes, even they sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the prison and committed him unto Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, that he should carry him home. So he dwelt among the people. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Go and speak to Ebed-Melech, the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring my words upon this city for evil, and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in that day before thee. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith the Lord, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. For I will surely deliver thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith the Lord. Amen. And so, that is where we will leave our Bible reading for today. And tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll start with chapter 40. So see, uh, Jeremiah gave the warning, and Zedekiah did not listen, <laughs> apparently. So, hmm, not good. Alright, so tomorrow, for Sunday, we'll be reading chapters 40 through 44. Amen. So the first four chapters of uh, the first uh, Jeremiah 40 through 44. Amen. So, praise the Lord. All right, well, until then, may the Lord richly bless you, and hope you all have a great and wonderful rest of your afternoon. Until next time, uh, bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.